So as you can see, I don't have any makeup on and this means one thing. I'll be putting on some makeup today. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and today we're putting on a f not I don't know. I don't know how how we can achieve a full face of makeup, but we will try. Because for today, I'll be using makeup samples and freebies that I got from Sephora and other places I buy makeup from. This is actually the third or fourth or fifth take because when I was filming earlier and looking at the clips, it felt a little lackluster and dry and dry. So, I made myself a cup of coffee to get some energy going and this is my favorite glass it's a double walled glass for my daily coffee uh, I have Arborean CC cream Ofra I don't know what this is, so I'll need to Google it. Marc Jacobs mascara that I've used, I've been using for quite some time now. Nudes Illuminati, a lipstick from Kat Von D. Surprisingly, this color suits me, so I love it. Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed Powder. And I've been using this as an eyeshadow, um, highlighter, and a lot of other things. Julie Lip Balm Care. Kat Von D Tattoo Liner Black. Mako Colors uh, Eyeshadow. And this Becca Backlight Priming Filter. So I already used the other one. Um, I didn't like it that much. But this one, we'll see. Now I'm looking for th what this is all about. It looks like this. It's, it says eye gel primer. So we'll see if it is for the eyes. I've finished my coffee, so let's get started. We're going to use this first. It's a primer, a backlighting priming filter. Ooh. It's it's tinted. So, it says here instant remedy for uneven lackluster skin transforms complexion with a warm glow that makes you look lit from within. Radiance booster blurs imperfections. Okay. Let's do this. I'll dab it all over my face. And for today, I'll be using my silicone sponge to pat it into my skin. Hmm. Eee. What's happening? Hmm. Smells good. Wow. Smells good. It's taking quite a while to pat all of this in. But as far as I can see, my face is all shimmery. It has like micro glitter pigments. Or maybe I put too much. Hmm. There. So up close, looks like I have so much glitter on my face. So after putting on the Becca backlighting priming filter, I am now using the Arborean CC Cream. It's white. So maybe I'll just put this on my hand first and just pick some of it with, with my sponge before applying it on my face. So it has a light scent. So almost done. My pores are a little smaller after putting on this high definition radiance face cream when i finished putting on the becca primer it my skin felt a little sticky 
but n after putting the Herborian CC cream, it's not as sticky anymore. And my face looks a, a little brighter. I don't have anything for my brows. So what I'll do is, I'll use this eyeshadow by Mako Colors to put on some brow. The thing is, I haven't done this uh, method in a long time. So good luck to me! Let's um, swatch it, swatch this first. There. Let's hope it works. First, I'll brush up my eyebrows. Oh god! <laughs> my camera fell. We're using this for the brows and I'll use this brush. It applies nicely, but I I don't think it's gonna provide much definition. I think this is going to take forever, so I'll be back when I'm done with my brow. After minutes of unsuccessfully putting on some brows, I decided to change my brush, wet it, and then put some on again. So after taking forever to make this ugly pair of brows, I, I give up. So after that, let's use the Ofra as my eyelid primer. So there. While waiting for it to dry, I'll put on some Jolie Lip Care Balm. And now we'll be using this as an eyeshadow. Oh my, so ashy. So I'm putting it on the outer corner and up to my brow bone. It's just, since this is the only color I have, I'll be putting it in the crease as well. I'll be using the Becca Shimmering Protector for the rest of my eyelids. Save the day, Becca, please. I'll be putting it from the inner corner to the middle part of my eye and just blend it a bit there. I mean, I'm done with the eyeshadow and now we'll be putting on some mascara from Marc Jacobs. I love this mascara so 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 much. See the difference? I didn't even use a curl lash. It just works and makes the lashes longer and thicker without clumpiness there. Oh my god, I forgot to put on eyeliner. This one, wait. Oh no. Yeah, I can wow. do this. Eyeliner and mascara, here to save the day. Next, so I'll be using this again but now for contour let's see if it works oh my gosh good luck to us does it look like i rolled in some soil <laughs> oh my god it's a lot blend it blend it like that oh god i look so ashy and shiny and oily and all that Make it work! Work, 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 work. Of course, the nose. Hmm. Or is it looking nice? I think this color is okay. You know what I'm realizing is, I think I can survive with this alone. For like contouring, some eyeshadow, but I really need my foundation and concealer because I'm seeing all the pores and the bags. So, oh yeah, and my eyebrow pencil. Can't live without that. So I have two samples left and this is Nude Sticks Nudies All Over Face Color. I'll use it as a highlighter, but it's a stick. So how do I use this? Like maybe I'll put it here. 
on the tip of my nose and here and dab it a bit can you see it? does it reflect on on the camera? a bit but I love using the Becca so I'll be using this brush a little goes a long way and then I go like that see? wow and here in the nose and then here on my cupid's bill can you see it? there and last but not least my Kat Von D lipstick in shade Mercy oh like my Lola and this is the final look what do you think? It's passable, but I feel like a real drawing, like shadows or shadows, like shadows or brown. Like you only used one shade of pencil for for drawing something. <laughs> That's how it feels. Although I love loving this lipstick though. That's all for today. See ya!